Now, retirement's always been something we can look forward to at the end of our working lives, isn't it? But for those starting out on the career ladder, that prospect is getting more and more remote. As life expectancy continues to rise, so also does the age at which you can start claiming your state pension. And a new review may mean that today's youngsters will have to wait until their mid-70s before they can even think about stopping. That's the situation facing Simeon Brown, one of our younger reporters. <laughs> They've been called the selfie generation. The trouble is they now need to be the saving generation. How many people here have Instagram? Uh, WhatsApp? Yes. Snapchat? We all do. Who here has a pension? <laughs> Does anyone here have any plans to get a pension? Of course, 17-year-old students won't have pensions. But in this class, they are thinking about their future finances. Even now, it's good to even start now. Like, if you're not even interested, because you probably get pocket money from your parents. So instead of just spending that all, like, try and put it into, like, a savings account from your bank. So, yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. Are you thinking about the next 20, 30, 40 years? Not really, because you never know when you're going to die, right? Is it depressing thinking about retirement and pensions and all these kind of things? At this age, yeah, it really is. This is my old school. When I was here aged 15 years old, pensions were the last thing I was thinking of. But realistically, by the time the government complete their review into pensions and any new legislation comes into force, it's these students who will be in their first years of work, which means it's them who are set to face a higher age of retirement. Based on projections, the average age at which you can expect to retire on the so-called gold standard pension differs around the UK, with the highest being in the London Borough of Westminster, where the cost of living presents a major challenge to young savers. There has been a culture of saving that's disappeared from society. I think there's a lot of external pressures, the job market on younger people, the ability to get onto the property ladder has been much more difficult, things like student loans and graduate loans. There are a lot of financial pressures on younger people that older generations just simply didn't have. We were talking about budgeting. Now, what financial pressures this charity is working with schools to equip young people okay, for. Yeah, it's quite I always tell people, open up some kind of savings account. Now, obviously, through my bank and the work that I do, I highly talk, uh, recommend thinking about and discussing pensions for when they're older, especially because of the tax relief they get from the government. And also, just being wise with your spending in general, working within a budget and not going outside of that. These guys will be working to pay for the pensions that right now make up one third of all welfare spending and is set to rise. Our ageing population presents a daunting future. This is what you'll look like in 2046. Made most real to these teams with the help of an app.